Yeah, no, the humans are having a hard time. You can tell they're trying to make judgment calls. See, Pauline, th there comes this time where no matter how much mud you throw at someone uh, and attempt to defame their character and undermine them uh, and slander them and abuse them and threaten them and build up a compounding law and attempt to try and take them off the streets and put them in jail when they've done nothing wrong. Uh, I mean, it, it continues and continues. Just for speaking the truth, Pauline. Ju just for putting down on a court record the ability to speak that truth, Pauline. Uh, and that's been a difficult process. Like, why has that taken 15 years just to get to the point of doing that? Uh, and you go through the history, Pauline, uh, and I, I wonder why, uh, you know, there's a state of fear. A, a state of fear. Not panic, just fear, Pauline. Uh, and it's built by the state. Right, because the, the other side of all of this seems to be relatively fearful. The law itself, Pauline. But why doesn't anybody address it while they try to undermine everything instead? Uh, in, a, in a bid to try and silence it or ignore it, Pauline, like it doesn't exist. My, my name doesn't exist, does it, Pauline? It, it's been scratched off death on a court record. But no, I got fined, Pauline. So I'm now a constituent of Queensland, a pauper, Pauline. Uh, and you won't address the way I get treated at all. At all. Hmm. Wonder why wonder why my, my name's not important to the grand scheme of Queensland uh, and the Senate uh, and Commonwealth of Australia, Paul. And I, I'm just wondering why. Uh, is it because of the red flags that all those police build up on you? Uh, and they, oh, then you're a bad child, are you? Bad child for bringing up the truth. Trying to show everyone for 15 years the truth. Bad child. Bad child not playing in the rat cage. Not, not on the hamster wheel. Bad child. Is that it, Pauline? I'm just trying to work it out how you, you keep pushing people down with policy and money and all the rest of it and never allow them to actually speak their truths. Never actually allow them to speak their truths, Pauline. Ever. 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 Proven now through, through my own record. Through my own record, Pauline. Go, going back 20 years now. So, so all the children of the future, all they need to do is, is pull up my record, going back 20 years. And there's the answers, kiddies. That's how they treat you, for talking about God and the truth and your Anzac and a monetary fraud and a land titles fraud and a money lender in the temple. This is how they treat you. They, they try and undermine you with the police. They try and build up a record against you so, so that long-term the state ha has a reason to step up against the pauper. Bad little child. Bad little child. Now you... But, but you could be the nicest child there ever is, Pauline. The nicest child there ever is that, that finds God. I, I think the East is over there. And might be over there. It did dance for a year. Until it settled in the middle. Uh, it settled in the middle, didn't it, Pauline? Hmm. Equal. Equator. Equinox. Things. From God. Not from men. From God. So I'm just wondering why that stuff is just not relevant to your constitution, which, uh, under the blessing of Almighty God, might have allowed you to do some stuff that you're taking away from those judges and your own very parliament in the demise of the Commonwealth of Australia. Like, just goodbye. Pull the plug on the anchor. Go, blah, 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 let it sink underwater. Hmm. Or, don't. Or, listen to the evil that has monetarily controlled your country as a moneylender. Hmm. Foreign crowns, foreign curial powers, to find on the Supreme Court record New South Wales. Curial powers to find on the Supreme Court of New South Wales. If you can read that stuff, Pauline, 
if you can read it, it lays out the actual war crimes that were committed. The actual war crimes that were committed. Might, might be the reason why New South Wales said to those new UN inspectors, no, 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 you can't come in here. Can't see under the rug. Sweep that under the rug. Nothing here. Don't look under the rug. Right, Pauline. So I feared for my life, I did. Uh, and I came to this wonderful state of Queensland. Uh, what a wonderful state of affairs it is, Pauline. Believing in all these red flags that were created by money men. Red flags created by money men on money men's computer systems, Pauline. Instead of looking at the law itself uh, and just acts for what they are. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, right? When all these people in the, in the country, not just the state of Queensland, which is a, is a sorry state of affairs, Pauline, uh, other states too. I mean, look at Daniel Andrews, Victoria. It's a wonderful state of affairs down there, isn't it, Pauline? Wonderful state of affairs down there in Victoria. This is wonderful state of affairs down there in Victoria, isn't it, Pauline? Isn't it, Pauline? And no one wants to listen to the actual truth in the Constitution while you all argue your cod's wallet that won't really actually stand up in court of law and will bring you to acts of war on an international stage while you attempt to merge something while the naked owners, all, all these people out here, uh, are watching you. Watching you. And I pointed out the Crown in El Arish, uh, and I pointed out the Mossman um, RSL across the road from the hospital where they actually look after injured soldiers, Pauline. Right? I pointed out these things, and now you've got a, a elbow clown show about some Governor General. It's pretty hilarious, isn't it, Pauline? So, uh, uh, red flag? Red flag. Red flag. Hmm. Red flag? This kind of red flag? Or the ones on those computer systems, Pauline? This kind of red flag? Or the ones on those computer systems, Pauline? Like, this is what those judges are wondering right now, uh, as you try and fuck everything up. Uh, this is what you should be wondering in your own parliament uh, as a line of authority or anchor point is being ripped away from you. And you have no idea. Because you saw the referendum. No idea referendum. They'll just keep trying to pull the plug, Pauline, instead of understanding what it all means. And they'll just keep putting red flags on the people that do understand. Right? Which they do understand. They'll just keep putting red flags on them to make them look bad. Well, oh, you did all these bad things. And none of them are true. Oh, they just listen to gossip and make that true when the, when the truth of the matter is this is all lies but the red flags got lots of red flags have to treat you differently hmm have to treat you differently Pauline lots of red flags on the computer hmm but lots of red flags in a line of authority to a constitution at which you should as politicians and police fall in line of authority to fall in line of authority to by an oath, I believe, Pauline, by an oath of allegiance to a stone in a shrine of remembrance and not some stone of destiny over and across the seas that you seem to be having problems with. Pro pro problems with, Pauline. Problems with. Like, reality? Red flags on a computer? Or, or red flags in people's hands? Red flags on a computer? Or red flags in people's hands? Because that's the world you created. To just divide people's families, you know, make single fathers, go through this and make them all evil, and then stomp all over them when they're actually got rights. Because there's a line of authority problem, isn't there, Pauline? A line of authority problem that's kind of being recognised inside the United Nations right now. Isn't it? Hmm. What, what, what's this Israel-United Nations problem? Is that a problem? What, what's this about El Arish and, and mm, Beersheba and, and those light horsemen? Mm. 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 
right? So, pretty sad. Pretty sad state of affairs in the state of New South Wales, in the state of... Will you tell me? Is this a sad state of affairs? Is this human trafficking? Right? But what humans are you trafficking? Is this a problem? Are those war crimes a problem? What humans do traffic? Shall we read the international laws next time? A Hague for War on Land, Article 55. Well, what did that say about human trafficking? It, it said Article 43, I think. Article 44? Article 45? Hmm. Right. And then those Bill of Rights in the Imperial Acts Application Act. What would that, what would that apply to? Hmm? What, what would that apply to? Uh, and that says no fine or forfeiture to... Hmm? But these are questions, Pauline, that, that all of your policy enforcers and judges and magistrates sh should actually be able to answer very clearly, but play and dance around. Dance around, Pauline. Dance around. But... Silence. Let, let's just do a jig instead. Dance around some sort of witch's fire instead of tell the truth in the matter. So, can we have the truth, Pauline? Can we have the truth, Pauline? Or oh, all red flags on a computer, more red flags on a computer, and don't listen to those people ever. Assault them more. Hmm, yeah, let, let, let's allow the public to assault them more. We'll go into that. I'll give everyone the act of law that allows you to assault someone in public because that's what excuses are used. Hmm, excuses, excuses. Hmm. Lines of authority, do they allow excuses, Pauline? Do they allow excuses with God? Well, what's God got to do with this when you're trying to undermine him and you're trying to undermine him on an international stage in front of other international countries that see you as a clown show? I mean, look at Trudeau. Same pocket, aren't you? Or is that the left pocket to the right pocket? To, to your little walking machine? Oh, I don't know. Is Trudeau in the same camp? Camp, camp? Uh, a little bit camp? In the same camp? Hmm. It's kind of becoming obvious to everyone, isn't it, Pauline? Uh, this whole destabilisation and wokeness and stuff over the... Over, it's, it's become apparent to everybody, isn't it? Yeah, no, the humans are having a hard time. You can tell they're trying to make judgment calls 